friends. Thanks for joining me in Sunday School today. Hey, have you ever had to do a really hard job all by yourself? And it takes forever. Sometimes doing hard work is way better when you have somebody to do it with, right? Like, how about working at a church? Have you ever come to like a dinner here or um, come to a Sunday school class here and we made a big old mess? Well, it will take me forever if I have to clean it up all by myself. But if I have the whole class help me, it doesn't seem to take that long at all. When we all work together, the work isn't so hard. Hey, our rural friends are at a church dinner, a spaghetti dinner. Let's see what happens. Welcome everyone to the spaghetti feast! Ada! Hey! Adeline! Over here! Hey Victor! What's up? What are you doing right now? Um, taking these plates to the kitchen. Oh, how boring. How about instead I show you something fascinating? Here, sit down. Okay. Now what? Now relax and have some of this delicious spaghetti. What? But I have work to do. Oh, you mean those plates? Yeah, it's already taken care of. Wait, where did they go? Nah, someone else took care of it. Who? Well, someone, Ada. You see, I noticed something a few months back. I can come to any church event I want, and someone else will take care of all the work. What? Well, think about it, Ada. I haven't helped with any of the last five church events. Not the potluck, or the game night, or even the bake sale? Nope, nope, and no. Nope. And you know what happened? Nothing. I just enjoyed myself, and everything was still taken care of. Really? Oh, yes. I think this is how we were meant to experience church. Well, I have been working really hard. Exactly. You should relax and enjoy it. Just give it a try. Welcome, everyone, to the fish fry. Yay, Yay fish, fish fry! fry! Welcome, everyone, to the bake sale. Yay, Yay bake, bake sale! sale! Welcome everyone to the Christmas pageant! Yay, Yay Christmas, Christmas pageant. pageant! Welcome everyone to another bake sale! <laughs> Yay, bake, bake sale. sale! Huh? What's wrong, Adeline? You don't seem to be enjoying your bake sale cookies. I'm kind of not, Victor. It just seems weird that I haven't helped with anything at church in the... Oh... Four months. Four months? It's been four months! Eh, time flies when you're letting everyone else do the work. But doesn't it seem wrong not to help? It's not against the rules. There's nothing that says we have to do volunteer work for the church. That was their big mistake right there. Yeah, but it's our church. It certainly is. If it's ours, then we should help it. It's our chance to come together and do something for the community. I'm going to go see if they need help in the kitchen. If this is supposed to make me feel guilty, let me tell you, it will not work. You're totally free to help or not, Victor. This just works for me. Oh, uh, okay, good. Because because even if it is just a little boring sitting here, you, you can't make me help. I wouldn't dream of it, Victor. Okay, good, right. That's right. Because I don't, I don't have to help with anything unless I want to. So I'm just going to sit here at this table alone. Not helping. What is this, cat hair?
Well, I am glad that Ada decided to help out. It is easier to just let everybody else do the work, but it sure makes a difference when everybody helps out. It makes it go faster, it's more fun, and everything gets done. Hey, did you know the church has seasons? So we're in this season of, it's called ordinary time. It's a time in the church that's an ordinary time. It's a time that we talk all about God's great big love. And one of the things we do during this time is we talk about sharing God's love with others. How can you share God's love with others? Is it easier to share God's love with others all by yourself? Or is it easier when you do things together? I think it's easier when we do things together, when we get other people's help. It's way more fun too to do things with a buddy than to do it all by ourselves. Today's Bible story, it's um, about, it's from a letter from Paul, one of uh, Jesus' disciples. And Paul loved telling others about God's great big love. Let's read it. Our Bible story comes from the World Story Bible. Our Bible story is in the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verses 6 through 13. It's called Weary of Working. I'm tired. I want a break, one believer grumbled. He was a new member of the church in the city of Thessalonia. He believed Jesus died, he believed that Jesus rose, and he believed Jesus was coming back soon. He gathered together with all the other believers in the church. They wanted to teach more people about God's love, but some believers weren't helping. They were waiting for Jesus to return. They didn't think they needed to keep working while they waited. A man frowned. Why does it matter if I give food to one hungry person or if I tell one story about Jesus, he asked. There are lots of people in the church, added a woman. God doesn't need me to help. A believer rushed into the room waving a scroll. We've got a letter from Paul, she called out. Let's see what it says. Our world kid has something to say. Let's see what she's saying. Sometimes it's easier to complain than to work or wait, but complaining doesn't get much done. Let's read the letter. Hello, Thessalonian friends. I hear some of you aren't helping your church. I know hard work makes you weary. I get tired too. But I work hard and so, so should you. Remember when I visited, I was your guest. I could have rested while you made me food and cleaned up after me. Instead, I worked with you. Follow my example. All of you should work to help your church grow. Remember, your work is important. Keep working like I showed you. Care for the sick, help those in need, spread stories about Jesus, care for one another by doing your part. You can help God's church grow. Yours in Christ, Paul. I wonder what our world kids are saying about that letter. Of course they should all work for their church. It's their church. Let's find out what kind of work we can do for our church. So what work makes you tired? You know, right now it's fall and there's a whole bunch of leaves on the ground. That kind of work makes me tired. Picking up all those leaves and then you get it all cleaned up and then the next day you wake up and there's all those leaves again. That always makes me tired. Do you have to clean your room or do the dishes? Do those things make you tired? They make me tired too. I get it. But if you had somebody helping you, wouldn't that be much better? So let's think bigger than our house. Let's think bigger than um, our home and what we have to do. Let's think about our church. Who works at our church? We have all kinds of workers at our church. We have Pastor Laura and Pastor Cody. They work hard for our church. They're always talking to people and helping them feel better. They call people who are sick. They visit people in the hospital and they teach classes and groups to tell others about God's great big love. They are hard workers. And then 
We have Miss Erin in the nursery. She's always trying to think of new ways for the little ones to have fun. We have Anne Marie with the teenagers. She loves working with those big kids. And then I work at the church too, and I do things like make this video for you and teach Sunday school. I love it. And then we have people who work for the church who clean up after us. Oh, we are so thankful for them. Phoenix, he's a teenager and he's one of our helpers and he helps clean up this whole church. It's amazing. What can you do to help the church? Now, there's some things you could do if you came um, in person to something. You could help set up something, maybe a church service or a Sunday school class, or you could help clean up. You could go to choir and sing. There's a lot of things that we can do to help our church. There's one thing that you can do from home. I think it would be really great if you could write a thank you card to Phoenix. He's the kid that cleans up. He takes out the trash, he mops the floors, he vacuums the floors. He makes our church building look beautiful. So if you have a minute, write Phoenix a thank you card. And you can mail it to me or drop it off at the church and I'll make sure that he gets it. It would make his day to know that you are thinking about him. Well, my friends, I hope you have a great week and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.